opportunity through the Lightning Mailbox. Uh, the amount, and you know, I don't think they can tell you my name. My name is Yvonne Pendleton. I am the director of the Massey Media Science Institute. And we are a virtual institute. That means we have teams that exist across the United States. And we also have seven international partners. They work together in a virtual mode, which means we use technology to connect people. This is unusual to bring them together for a face-to-face -face meeting. Normally, every month, we have several meetings where people get together in video land and we talk to each other that way, which is so completely natural to all of you. But I guarantee you, to the old timers like me, the dinosaurs, they have a hard time with that. They are not used to it. They're used to this face-to-face -face stuff only. So this virtual institute concept is a whole new way of doing things. And uh, that's what the Media Science Institute is all about. So this meeting today is the premier time for all lunar scientists to get together. There's another one that happens in March, but that's about lunar and planetary. So you get the whole rest of the solar system. This one is focused on the moon. So you will have about 400 people that you're talking to. Between 400 and 500 people, if everyone gets registered and gets in the room on time. Uh, uh, but uh, your, your talks are, are not till later in the day, so they should be there. And uh, you will have a minute and a half. I know you were told two minutes. We just had to make an executive decision just 10 minutes ago to cut it down to a minute and a half because there has been an overwhelming surge in people who want to give these white men talks. And so we wanted to give a few more people the opportunity. If you've already practiced and you've got it down to two minutes, I'm sorry, you need to squeeze a little bit. That doesn't mean you go faster. That means you try and leave something out. Or you try to say something a little bit shorter. Really important to get your name, your location, you know, where you're from, and what your topic is, get that out there for them in a very clear way. Be enthusiastic, have energy. Don't get up there and be with that quiet voice where you're just kind of timid and shy. They won't hear you and they certainly won't remember you. Get up there and give them a reason to remember why they should pay attention to you and why they're gonna remember what it is you study or care about. Why they wanna to go to your poster. If you can think of one creative thing, something memorable. I remember last year, I don't think that student is here now, but we had somebody with purple hair. Do you guys <laughs> remember this? And, uh, and we talked about the fact that it isn't too often that you see someone with purple hair. Uh, and she used that in her mnemonic or whatever it was that she told the audience. Her last name is Nun. There you go, a nun with purple hair, right? And. Uh, so she used that, and, and a number of people came up to me later and said, wow, I'm never going to forget her. So it's that kind of thing. If you can think of something to work into it. So what we did last year that turned out to be so effective, uh, I mean, I'll take some questions first, but what we did last year was uh, we went around and, and had a few people, brave souls, volunteer, to stand up here and, and try it out. You know, just try it out. And we timed them for a minute and a half, and then we gave feedback. Like, what could you have done differently, or what really worked, that sort of thing. So start thinking now whether or not you're a brave enough soul to get up here and do it. Because once again, that's the mark of a leader. If you're the kind of person who can take that step and get out on that limb and say, I'm just going to give it my best, you're probably the person who's going to shine in a crowd. And those are the people that we need for science and exploration for the future. Every one of you is talented and good and capable. A few of you will shine. And that's what this audience will be looking for. So think about if you want to volunteer. And I will volunteer first to show you, just to give you just some idea. I'll tell you a little bit about my own personal student history background. Because while I'm studying the moon now, I'm directing the studies of the moon. That isn't what I studied as an astronomer. So I'm going to just come up here and pretend that I'm a graduate student again and tell you a little bit about my background. And who would volunteer to time me? OK, I see two hands. Uh, OK, why don't you go ahead, Heidi? OK, so we're going to try to shoot for a minute and a half. They're going to call your name. Uh, no, I think Brad just pointed. 
points to you. Because points to you when you walk up there. So you're walking up there, you're looking at the audience, you're making good eye contact, and you go. Hello, my name is Yvonne Pendleton. I'm a graduate student at the University of California at Santa Cruz. I study star formation, and I'm really interested in the interstellar dust that contains organic material that somehow comes to the Earth and eventually ended up in you and me, us sitting around here talking about the development, the evolution of organic material in the interstellar medium as it makes stars and planets and people. My poster is number 87, and I will be at that poster today between 4 and 5 o'clock. Please come by and talk to me. I would really like to tell you more about my work. Thank you very much. Do it. I wasn't rushing through. I could have added more. 50 seconds. It seemed like not a lot of time. But it is. You can do that. Okay, any feedback? What could I have done better? It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Everybody can always improve. The reason I'm standing up here and telling you this stuff is because I've been watching people for years and learning. I'm trying to learn and they look out at the audience, try to talk to the opposite side of me. Ready to uh, to time? Okay. Hi, my name is Tim Abraham and my poster is about so, using citizen science uh, um, programs in the study of lunar topography. The two programs I talk about is the Moon Zoo and the Annapolis. And so and in these projects we look for um, um, classified mages and invisible craters and boulders and other geological features and marks them. Again, my name is Timmy Shubham and my poster presentation is about using citizen science um, programs in the study of lunar topography. Thank you. Thank you. Comments. Where are you in school? Um, American River College. American River College. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Make sure you say that loudly. Where is that located? It's in Sacramento area. Okay. A lot of people here might not know where American River College is, so maybe you could say, "I attend American River College." In Sacramento. <laughs> You need to audit. He's the only one that gets pretty for that. Okay, that's cool. Any other comments? Make sure you send the poster number. Right. The poster number that is fictitious right now. <laughs> 47 seconds. So we do have more time for your presentation. Okay, good. Right. How about projection? Good. That was good, actually. I could hear it quite well. Fantastic. Clearly. Yes. Fantastic. So if you were in a room this size, that works. We're going to be in a big room with 400 people. There's going to be a microphone, though. So one thing we're going to have to make sure is that the microphone is at the right level for you. Always take the time to make sure your microphone is adjusted for you. It's worth that extra few seconds. And uh, any, anything else? Okay, we're going to give you another shot at doing this after we hear Laura again. Okay, so just stand by.
Islamic science community did not even exist a few years ago. The moon was a big deal when I was growing up, and then it went into this kind of state where most astronomers, planetary scientists, turn to other, other locations. And it has just now come back into vogue. And you guys are the new generation that are doing it. So thank you for that, because the moon, our nearest neighbor, is a really important object. And uh, it holds a lot of fascinating things. We we're going to uncover some of those for the rest of the So I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to let you jump in and have some pizza. Oh.